this building isn't in any survey of the quarry. That's because we use hosts to do most of the surveys. They're programmed to ignore this place. They literally couldn't see it if they were staring right at it. And these unregistered hosts you told me about? I don't know. He may have moved them. What's behind this door? What door? diagnostic facility. Ford and his partner used them when the park was in beta. I had no idea this one was here. The cottage must have been built on top of it. But there's equipment. This is newer. It's slower than our machines back at the Mesa, but we'll render a host in a few days. So Ford's been making his own host out here and telling no one. What is this, Bernard? It doesn't look like anything to me. They cannot see the things that will hurt them. I've spared them that. Their lives are blissful. In a way, their existence is purer than ours, freed of the burden of self-doubt. Uh, I don't understand. You're a fucking monster. Am I? Well, you were the one who would so blithely destroy all of them, even him, I suppose. After everything you have shared. What the hell are you talking about? Is that why? Did you tell him to... The intimacies were your idea, if you will recall. I think Bernard was glad of the company. I'm not one. I can't be my wife. My son, they're real. I was a father. My poor boy. That's enough, Bernard. Mustn't get yourself worked up. I read a theory once that the human intellect was like peacock feathers, just an extravagant display intended to attract a mate. All of art literature, Beethoven, Mozart, William Shakespeare, Michelangelo, and the Empire State Building. Just an elaborate mating ritual. Maybe it doesn't matter that we have accomplished so much for the basis of reasons. But of course, the peacock can barely fly. It lives in the dirt, pecking insects out of the muck, consoling itself with its great 